Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you a little bit of something I've been working on for quite some time now. As you may know, I've been working on the PC32 language for the PC, which is just basically color for a variant of it. Well, this keyboard is the hardware implementation of that language. As you can see, it's a standalone uh, computer keyboard and you only need to provide power and a VGA connection in order to have your very young standalone color for computer. The keyboard is split into two halves of 16 keys each, making a, a 32 key keyboard, which maps itself to a 32 bit uh, word inside memory. Each key can be addressed independently of the others and which allows you to make cording in any direction you want, vertical or horizontal. For example, spaces like this. Uh, the keyboard itself uses brown switches, mechanical switches, and I've printed uh, the key, the keycaps, and as well as the entire uh, enclosure of the keyboard. Now, the keyboard itself runs on a RP2040, also known as an Raspberry Pi Pico. It has 2065K of memory and runs at around uh, 206 megahertz at least this version the future version will be running at around 270 uh, there's also the new chip that's coming so i may use that one instead this keyboard has uh, a memory chip uh, a ps ram chip that is battery backed so you can just work normally on the chip and you don't have to worry about saving or losing your progress. It's all automatically done. Aside from that, I'd like to show you the internals of the chip. So I'll pause a bit and I'll come back. Now here you can see the internals of the board. This is still very much a mess, but I have the battery here. It's an old cell phone battery, the VGA connector and the Raspberry Pi Pico chip. It also has a micro SD slot and a headphone jack for connection. On this side, I've uh, run out a part of the VGA signal just for debugging, but in the final version, I'd like to have all the GPIO out uh, in a connection like this. If I move it a little bit up like this, you can see here, there is uh, the UR connection so you can always talk to your PC. Now, I'd like to show you a few demos of the machine working. So let's do that next. Okay, so now I'm going to record the screen directly. As you can see, I've hooked up the keyboard to the VGA and to the USB power. And if I click the power button, when it, the monitor syncs, I will have my editor. As you can see, it's here. So this is just the normal PC32 editor. I can just type whatever, like hello, hello world. I forgot how to type. Hello world. And I can change its color by pressing the key combination. I can also go ahead and look up the source code and it will bring me to the block that has the source code for that. It's a little bit tight since this was written for the PC version on the PC, which is 640 by 480. This one is 320 by 240. So let's go to the next block. And of course, big thanks to all the Patreons. It really helps me a lot. So if you like this project, I really hope that you can subscribe so moving on let's go to the next block and here I have a little trick for you as you can see down here we have a bunch of hex numbers and the color of the block is color palette so I want to show you the palette but I only have this bunch of hex since this editor is the same editor as the PC version I can use the blue words and I've, wrote, I've written uh, a trick word that will trick the editor into showing uh, the value of the color of that hex. So if I execute this, 
as you can see it will show you the entire palette is 255 colors 8p colors and you can also turn it back if I go ahead and bring up the see the sudo command line so I press this button here and it brings me to a command line environment so I can type a ASM ASO ASM and it will bring it back to the normal um, hex display mode now I get out of that command line editor and I go to the next block now what do we have here we have the traditional burst which is uh, Bresenham line implementation it will display the lines as if it were a burst of color and wait for a key to get rid of that if I go into the command line and type TV and execute that you can see we have TV noise and I can also get out from that now if we go to the next block there's something I want to show you and this is a very much a, a work in progress it's a 3d editor and as you can see here I have a bunch of hex well if I do the same trick the same picks sorry picks and evaluate that you will see that this is in fact a texture and what I'm doing here is I am um, if I evaluate the block I have this dot here which I can move and if I press a key it will draw that texture and as you can see it's skewed because it's using an orthographic projection so I can draw a one vertical and I can start laying out a simple scene like that it's not too much and it's just a single texture so it's just still very much a work in progress but it's working so I can get out of that block and it brings me back to my editor so as you may know the this RP2040 has a really good chip with um, that has the interpolator that makes very easy to do texture mapping so I'm taking advantage of that and I've done this very little demo I press F, I press F5 it's not F5 it's just this combination of keys these two and it will execute the block which I can just start moving around as you can see it's a uh, pseudo mode 7 I can also change the height of the scene and just move it around uh, this is a 128 by 64 texture the background and the foreground is just a 64 by 64 texture that uses uh, a perspective projection and texture lookup for to get the distortion so that's pretty much it for now I think uh, I'm going to keep working on this get it real stable I just wanted to show it off just to um, not let uh, a personal deadline of mine go go through but uh, I still have lots to show you it's just not ready yet I'm also probably going to change the chip for the new um, Raspberry Pi Pico 2 so that's it pretty much for now uh, take care see you next time